Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Okay guys, before I begin, I am not giving you any medical advice, I am not making any medical claims, and everything stated in this video are the opinions of the speaker and should not be construed as any claims for or against any product or products. With that being said guys, I'm sorry for reading the disclaimer to you guys. I'm about to show you something incredible and explain to you something that is beyond SPE, PEM technology. I'm going to explain in full detail what really makes what the Japanese have done here, these machines, so special, so unique, and literally the best hydrogen machine in the world. There's a reason that they're number one in Japan, and I'm about to explain to you now. First, right here. Now, this is actual proper testing equipment for basically understanding how much hydrogen is in water. It is not using blue drops in my opinion. I say in my opinion, but I've shown you guys the videos where it literally shows that they're not accurate, again, in my opinion. And if you see right here, it, this is going over 1.6. 1.6 is full saturation. This is going over 1.7, guys. It doesn't make sense unless you're using a hydrogen technology that is literally practically unknown to man. They're doing something very special here. And beyond that, this is not pressurized. If it was pressurized, it could go beyond that. But you want to make it bioavailable to you, and you also want to make it safe to you. So anyway, let me let me really get into this, and I'm going to explain a massive amount of information today. So sorry for the video being a little long. All right, let's go. First thing is, SPE and PEM membranes are what everybody's using these days, and I found some things about them that are kind of scary. What is the technology that the Japanese are using? They're using something called MFPM. Nobody does this. This is the first company in the world that does it. And they're also, at this time, the only company that does it. And for people who want to know, the official website is called holyhydrogen.com. Okay. All right. So basically, this is way better than a DuPont membrane. Uh, I'm not actually a huge fan of DuPont membranes after I saw what is in them in a lab report. Now, this is actually engineered in Japan. These machines are not only engineered, but hand-built in Japan. And then they actually get lab tested, certified like this test that you see here. And that is just something you don't see, by the way. There is no hydrogen company in the world that I've seen that actually certifies every single machine they make. It's kind of unbelievable. And, you know, there's a reason that these guys are number one in the world. All right, so with that being, with that being said, there is a membrane that is used in all the hydrogen device, well, not all of them, but almost all the hydrogen devices these days. And there's a major problem. The one that this, the, the one that everybody uses, the DuPont membrane, is literally one layer. The one that they're using in this machine, which is, again, unheard of, and it's actually the gray one over here, is actually a three-layer membrane. These three layers, so they basically have two... I mean, we're talking three layers. I don't know if you guys understand this, and I can't disclose some of the information because I've been finding out that they're using very proprietary uh, technology and also stuff that is patented. I mean, again, you know, the number one company in the world, how they do that kind of stuff so that nobody else can try to steal their technology. Okay, so DuPont membranes are not fibrous. These guys are using fibrous type of technology in their membranes. And by having these multi-layer and fibrous technology, and I saw the lab tests about their membrane too, and this is the part I liked the most. Yes, it's superior, but it's cleaner. When I say cleaner, there's things, oh, look, I want my hydrogen, not just my hydrogen. I want my hydrogen as clean as possible. I don't want chemicals in my food. I don't want chemicals, well, in my drinking water, and I don't want chemicals in my hydrogen. I don't want to use lye, you know, sodium hydroxide. I don't want to use stainless steel because of the compounds in them. I don't want to use hydrogen pills. I don't want to use cheap products from China that uses plated metals. Nobody's talking about this. I'm like the, I feel like the, I'm the only guy talking about this. And then anybody else who tries to sell products, they try to claim that they got the best stuff from Japan. Anyway, this is actual Japanese equipment. Always ask where your stuff is being made. But even then, that's a scam in my opinion, because I found out that they can ship parts from China to different parts of the world, put the machines together and claim they're from America or even Japan, actually. That's actually happening apparently in Japan also. All right, so this technology though, I can't go into great detail, but the biggest thing is that it actually induces, they basically are structuring hydrogen. Guys, that right there is amazing. The, the thing that I'm really big on when it comes to hydrogen is, and not just hydrogen, my food, my water, I want it to be as close to nature as possible. I want to do it natural. I don't want GMO stuff. I don't GMO stuff. I don't want chemicals. I don't want this type of stuff. And hydrogen, they're always using, again, plated metals, which you don't find in nature. 
Um, they're using chemicals to try to produce it. Uh, Brown's gas is nowhere found in nature and things like this. So I like to follow nature as much as possible to do it very naturally. All right, so the way that they developed this technology, they also started structuring the hydrogen. Now, if you understand anything about structuring, it's actually something that does happen in nature. And there's vortexes. Actually, what's crazy is that it's a lot like your DNA. It's spirals and structures. And there is some actual interesting uh, scientific evidence in regards to this and data in Japan, but I'm not going to go into that in depth because this is about what this machine is doing and, and the hydrogen that they have developed. On top of it all, this type of membrane technology just wouldn't work with any device out there. It's not like any Chinese device could just grab this membrane technology and try to make it work with their machines. Why will it not work? Because on top of it all, the metal that the Japanese are using, very special, just like, again, like samurai swords. They, they don't just take any metal. They need special metal and on top of it, the process that they're doing is called, ex they're actually doing expanded metal technology. It's absolutely insane what they're doing. And that increases with the Vive technology they're using, the vortex, the structuring of the hydrogen. And that process actually creates uh, almost like a vibration or frequency technology that works specifically with the hydrogen. It's doing these crazy things that literally nobody really understands. And it's on such another level that even the scientists were shocked how they were getting this number. They're like, how are we getting a 1.7? They actually originally thought there was something wrong with their equipment. And eventually they actually calibrated and tested and retested. And this is what I love about the Japanese. They test so much, they're so thorough, they're so detail oriented and realize that they had actually developed something very special here. Now, what most people don't realize is the nano bubble technology or even hyper micro nano bubbles that these things are making is just unlike anything in the world. Nobody has been able to make anything like it to this point. And on top of it all, not only are they making the cleanest hydrogen, supernatural, everything that I'm, I'm literally telling you guys, it also happens to be more reliable and even cleaner. So this is, you know, when things become more efficient, like the car engines that the Japanese develop, like Toyota and everything, I mean, it's just so next level. It's kind of unbelievable and way more reliable than what DuPont was doing with their membrane. So their, their DuPont membranes also just not nearly lasting as long as what the Japanese are doing. I love how the Japanese do this type of stuff because they go to a whole level that people just don't understand. Okay, let's keep moving forward. So it's literally gonna last a lot longer, in my opinion, from everything that I am reading. And then in order for this type of technology to work, the metal had to be, they already had the best metal technology in the world when it comes to hydrogen. And then they had to take it another step further. They had to improve their metal technology in order for this to actually work. I, I got to you guys already know I love this stuff. The, these guys are unbelievable. So they had to make the surfaces of the metal super ultra smooth. And you may think, oh, everybody can make it smooth. Guys, no. People don't even understand. I'm not even going to go into, well, go look at NASCAR. Okay, I'm going to give you some of the details that I wasn't going to. Go to NASCAR when Toyota first started getting in there and what they were doing in the world of NASCAR. And you're going to see why the brand new Toyota cars that went into NASCAR, following all the rules that Chevy and Dodge and Ford were doing, and somehow Toyota was beating them. Why? It had to do with metal technology. Go, go read about it. It's actually very interesting. And it has to do with the microscopic details of smoothness in the engines. That's ultimately what they found out because people thought they were actually cheating. And they just, their tech is so far beyond everybody else's when it comes to metal. And let me tell you something about metal and hydrogen. It has everything to do with cleanliness of the hydrogen, in my opinion, and everything to do with effectiveness, guys. This is why they're number one. And this is why they're absolutely untouchable when it comes to the world of hydrogen. And nobody cares. Nobody, this is the only company that really cares about making really high-end products. So beyond that, so they have this super high quality metal, but they had to make super, I mean like ultra microscopically smooth surfaces beyond the metal. And by the way, this is not plated metal and this is not cheap stainless steel. This is ultra high quality. This is like fine jewelry. And this allows the electrical current. This is where it gets crazy because the computer that they use, which is right here, the computer and the way it works with the metal, it allows the electricity to run 
perfectly spread across the metal to work perfectly with the larger surface of the membrane area to create even more super crazy nano bubbles. I mean, everything they're doing is insane. I just can't believe that they're doing this. And, I, and I'm so grateful that these guys are doing this. But anyway, let me keep going and tell you also why it's beyond SPE and PEM because these guys were the basically the first to do it in the industry. And that was already groundbreaking and everything else. And now everybody's doing it. And they've totally gone beyond that because along with that technology, so they're using the computer, they're using the membranes, they're using the metal, and then they also went with separate chamber technology. They did everything that you needed to do to make a hydrogen machine perfect, again, in my opinion. So it goes beyond the SP, the S, you know, the, the PEM technology or whatever. And unlike other hydrogen devices, they don't directly electrolyze the water. They separate it on purpose. And that means that your water, because it's not being directly electrolyzed, and this is very important, it actually allows for the hydrogen to literally go through this very special process. They have a special process at the bottom of the pitcher, by the way, that does all this crazy technology before it goes into the water that you're actually going to drink. This is why it's so important. And this literally makes the hydrogen water and the hydrogen gas from the Lourdes Hydrofix pure, uh, Premium the purest and just absolutely the gold standard when it comes to the drinking water and, the, and even the inhalation that ends up coming off of this. And nobody does it like that. So this would never be able to happen with a DuPont membrane. And then you take it to the next level. Now, this is a, something that nobody in the hydrogen industry apparently understands. This is, again, the only company that does this in the world. They use something called the Nemka effect. It is an absolute next level technology that basically stands for non-faradaic electrochemical modification of catalytic activity. Now, what does this really mean? Japan leads the world. This is why this video is coming from Japan. I live in Japan now and I don't plan on leaving. These guys are doing next level stuff here in Japan. And Japan leads the world in renewable energy research and technology, okay? What the Japanese have done here with, actually with like companies like Toyota, by the way, have been conducting research and technological development on the latest utilization of hydrogen energy and renewable energy. They're doing stuff that the world, I wish, knew more about, but that's why I'm here. I want to share a lot of this information with you. These latest technological achievements from Japan, guys, are what have allowed for this technology to exist. That's really what it comes down to, right? And so what they've done with this technology goes beyond conventional electric technology. I know that most people just don't understand. So the Nemka effect is a method that does not follow Faraday's law, okay? This is that which is basically the electrochemical reactions that are, you know, standard to basic understanding and obtains a higher than, you know, what people would even understand to be true. It allows for higher production of hydrogen, it allows to do it with less electricity. People don't understand that when they're buying hydrogen machines, they're gonna be utilizing a certain amount of electricity. And it doesn't allow the membranes to break down or the metal to break down as rapidly, which is why these metals with, that are like, um, what are they called? Like plated metals, they're gonna fall apart. They're gonna, well, in my opinion, they're gonna fall apart. They're gonna get potentially in your water. Um, the membranes fall apart, in my opinion, and that's where it gets scary because I've seen what's in these membranes, in these lab tests. And I'm not going to say here because, well, I don't really want to scare people. I'll just tell you that what's in there is stuff that I would never want in my water. It actually scares the crap out of me, and the stuff that I've seen is, is just, it's just creepy. Okay, it's really hard to, I, I don't want to make any claims here, so I'm not going to make any claims, but I have seen it in the lab tests. And maybe I'll just show you the lab tests in the future. If you guys want to know, you know, comment below. And I'll try to get that stuff for you, but I have seen it. So this allows for these machines to actually use lower amounts of electricity. It's a phenomenon, by the way, because and it's a phenomenon that is well documented and recognized as literally one of the most exciting discoveries in electrochemistry, which has a huge impact on many catalytic and electrocatalytic processes, guys. And so Japan's latest Nemka effect, this technology has literally made it possible to use, again, this type of technology using lower amounts of electricity, which also keep these machines reliable 
and you're having super pure hydrogen if you really want to do the whole hydrogen thing, which obviously I do because I'm very grateful for what these guys have done. I mean, this is so next level. I'm sorry, but this is so crazy. In fact, let me go over here and I'll just kind of play the video for you while I'm chatting with you guys so you can literally see. Everything's running, by the way. In fact, let me put it on uh, the playback speed on normal. I had it at the wrong speed. All right. And then they have the Vive technology, which is basically vortex-induced vibration engineering because they're, they're literally doing something that the world has never known with the expanded metal technology. And it creates this very... I'm not going to go into detail of how they're doing it because some of it they actually don't want people to know how they're doing it. It took them millions of dollars and tons of research. But they've found a way to actually use the natural frequency of life itself and i say life itself because you have to understand and the internet got stuck here you have to understand that hydrogen in my opinion is the source of all life the stars are made of hydrogen we need the sun if we don't have the sun we're absolutely goners okay we need the the light of the stars and our star the light of our world and then water is incredibly not only spiritual but it's primarily made of hydrogen in fact if you really want to get deep into it you can go look the source of the word hydrogen from Greek and Latin, which literally means that which becomes water. So there's a huge connection between hydrogen and water. And they've done something so beautiful here and, and so natural. They, they literally want to mimic nature. I want to tell you guys, for those of you who stuck around, and probably almost not that many people have, the amount of hydrogen sometimes is not as important as the way you make it, the purity of it, and how you use it, and the bioavailability of it. You don't just need huge numbers it just doesn't work that way and so here we go um well too bad sorry guys there was some type of error that occurred right there but in the end that's pretty much the the, the end of what i wanted to share with you guys anyway so i appreciate you guys listening don't forget to give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe share and ask any questions that you might have had thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time on the next one and in the end this is why Obviously, they're making the best hydrogen machine in the world. And I really hope that you guys appreciate it because I know I do. It's absolutely changed my life. And I do not, I did not understand why other hydrogen machines were never like this one when I use them for my health. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Till next time, guys.